Greetings, I am Herbert Erbaderp, and it's that day again. That's right, Wednesday. The day on which we ask questions of Herbert Erbaderps, and that same Herbert Erbaderp should then supply answers. And so that's exactly what I plan to do. But first, just to let people who haven't noticed it know, there's now a music channel in the Discord server. Feel free to share whatever music you'd like in there. I think it could be an interesting way to find some new and different music. I probably don't really need to say it because the people in the Discord server are mostly pretty cool. Though I'm not so sure about that Barnaby character. I think he's a bad egg. You stay away from him. Anyway, the same rules apply of course. Don't be a dick and don't shit on someone else's musical tastes just because they're different. It's pretty basic stuff. So go share some good good music and have fun. I'll share some dumb stuff that I enjoy in there later. On to the questions. Duncanuva said, do you play Hearts of Iron 4? No, though I have been tempted to pick it up a couple of times. But it's $40 US, which is a good chunk of change for a game that I'm not 100% sure that I'll really get into. I think it might be fun, but it looks like the kind of game that I would have to be in a specific mood to want to play, if that makes sense. I don't think it will offer the near instant gratification things like World of Tanks do, or the fun social play with my friends like Rust or Seven Days to Die do. But if it gets cheaper or I suddenly have too much money, I'll pick it up. It is in my wish list. Smoes said, will you play any more Finland Simulator? I mean, my summer car. I will, I just haven't really felt like it recently. I don't usually play games specifically to make videos about them, so if I don't feel like playing, I just don't. I do plan on giving My Summer Car another play though. I think I will have to start from the very beginning again. Surely the game has been updated quite a bit since I last checked it out. I might actually play it on stream. I've not yet decided if I'll do that or not, but keep an eye out. Chop, I'm just going to say chop because I'm lazy, though I've said far more syllables now having just said that. Anyway, Chop asks, would you consider using the spare parts from the Plastic Soldier Company 38T slash Marder kit as the basis for turret and pack bunkers? I saw a blog somewhere that did this, but I can't seem to find it. Here's some photos of real ones for inspiration anyways, and there's a couple of links included. That's a really good idea actually, and it doesn't seem like it would be all that hard to do either. Sadly, I don't have any of the 38T turrets left, but I'm sure there are bits left over that could whip up something like that. Could even use bits from other kits. I might have some thinking and planning to do. It sounds like a fun little project to work on. I won't promise that it will be done soon, but it is now on my list. On the previous Ask a Herbert Herbert Herbert, James Valentine said, If you do a red KV2, this strongest tonk in world, will it go faster? As we know, red ones always go faster. Absolutely. It is a universal law that red goes faster, even on a glorious, slow, super strong tank like KV2. Chud Chudsley said, how do you feel about Logan Paul? In my opinion, he's an awful narcissist that doesn't really contribute anything. I don't really know a whole lot about him or his brother, other than they seem to be some low quality humans that make songs telling people to buy their merch. I know recently Logan made a video in the Japanese suicide forest where he was laughing and making a mockery of it, and I guess that's where this question comes from. I refuse to watch it or anything he or anyone like him does, because I value my time. I'm obviously not the only one that thinks his recent thing is really shitty. There's being a harmless buffoon, which is fine. You could say that I'm one of those. But posting videos of someone who has recently made quite a drastic decision, purposely out of sight to avoid their death being a spectacle, and making a joke of it to get views is fucking disgusting. I feel like Logan Paul either completely lacks empathy or hasn't had to deal with losing anyone like that before. It's really hard. I feel like I've already wasted way too much time talking about this. Stoigen Freugen, which is a really good name, said, You should do more 1 35th scale models. They're not too hard to assemble, and with an airbrush they're quick to paint. I don't know, I kind of disagree. Not that they're hard to assemble, but it does take a lot longer to make videos about building them. Not only are they usually way more parts and more steps to the actual assembly, but I also have to film them, trying to get everything in frame, focused and well lit enough in addition to making notes as I go, so that I don't forget important things during the editing, which is almost a certainty. Painting also takes a little bit longer. 
An airbrush definitely speeds the process up of course, but I'm a very slow painter no matter the scale, and I wouldn't be happy with just a couple of airbrushed colours. So I like to spend the time to paint to my satisfaction, which unfortunately takes quite a while. Largely because I do have other things in life that I need to be doing instead of just painting all day. I actually want to spend less time making videos about the more complex kits, and focus that time towards doing more painting videos. That said, I do have a few non-wargaming kits that I'm pretty excited for. Nothing in 1 35th scale in the immediate future, but some other stuff in a variety of scales that I've picked up from the local hobby shop that you'll hopefully enjoy. SBG Podcast said, For thinned paints you could use the model air colour that is pre-thinned and designed to go in an airbrush. Definitely, and they are very good paints. Though I have had issue with the German grey thickening up to a point that I can't spray it without additional thinning. It is still quite usable though, so I haven't bought a bottle to replace it. Maybe that's just a bad batch or something, and I've not had that issue with any other colours. You can also thin down the model air colours a bit more to make them really thin, which could also be a good idea for practising on things like paper. I would definitely recommend Vallejo Model Air to a beginner airbrush user. They can also be used with regular brushes of course. A good thing is they make sets, so you should be able to find a set that is relevant to your interests. Harry Davies said, So did you get around to playing bolt action over the holidays? Unfortunately, not yet. Circumstances changed as they have a way of doing, and Barnaby's time off changed a little bit too. We're still going to try and get some games in in the coming weeks though, so hopefully we can get a video out of that. I believe he actually still needs to get a hold of some more models to complete his army, but we'll get there. And with that, this week's Ask a Herbert Erpada now draws to a close. If you've got a comment or a question you would like me to answer, be sure to post on Discord or in the comment section below. And of course, if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on social media, and watch me live stream on Twitch. And if you really like the things I do, please consider helping to support the channel over at Patreon. You'll get a hearty thumbs up from me. Links to all of those things are in the description below. I shall return soon, so until then, happy whatever it is you are doing, and thanks for watching. Farewell.